Hey everybody, welcome to our Crazy RV. Today I'm talking about why this Camco broom sucks. Either I'll end up with no brooms or I'll end up with one, one good broom. A, the dustpan is trash. Throw it out. Don't need that crap. Second, Karma broke this in like the second day. Well, this breaks right away, so it's completely useless. So check that out. So what we've got now is we've got a telescoping handle. And I have an idea because our old broom, the only reason we got the new one is because the old one, the telescoping handle on it broke. What I'm thinking is that I can cut this off and use this really thin piece of trash on the end of it and extend it so that I can end up with one really good broom out of the, out of the two brooms. It's unfortunate. I wish Camco would make good stuff, but they don't. Some of their stuff is good and some of it is just for making money and it's complete garbage. That broom is one of them. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to pull this out. I already went in the shop and I drilled out, there is a rivet here, and so I drilled that out. What I'm hoping will happen is that I can cut this off so that it's this long. So I'll cut this off here and then I'll be able to maybe use the end of this and get that out. Put that in the end there, drill it out so it's the same size as this, slide this in and use this to hold this into place and maybe I will need some form of epoxy or filler or silicone or I don't know, something on the inside to give it a little bit more rigidity. That's the idea, that's the concept and I don't know, let's see if it will work. But the moral of the story is that Camco broom just sucks. I've made my mark on where I want to cut my broom. Yeah. Okay, so I'm committed now. Either I'm going to have a really short broom or the broom of our dreams. Okay, so I think I need this piece out of the end. Nice thing about being at the farm is you never know what you're going to find. This piece. Okay, so I got this little piece out the end. Just gonna try and fit it into here. Take this out of here. Okay, now we have a mini broom. As I'm hoping I can drill this out so that this will be able to slide in there. So I have to find a drill bit the same size as this. I think we might have to go with the biggest bit that we have and then just work it around because it's plastic. It should come apart easy. We'll see if we can hollow that out to be the right size. I know at this point you're watching the video just because you want to see if I can actually pull this off or not. Part of the reason I want this on there too is because it will get rid of that sharp edge that was on there. Technically what I could do is superheat this, but this would probably melt and then just push it through the plastic. I know at this point you're thinking, wouldn't it be much easier to just go buy a better broom? Well, I did buy a better broom. It turned out to be a crappy broom. Nice. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece off uh, right here. I got to find a screwdriver. So my original plan was actually to line up a hole down here with this one. But as I was thinking about it, I was like, well, you know, it would actually be better to have a new hole because then it would be smaller. It would be the right size. Okay, now we're going to tap this down into there. Okay, you can see we've got our piece to the end. Our telescoping handle on the end of the other broom. Alright, it actually should be the right height. I'm gonna find out here. When you own an RV, you have to be creative if you want to save money. Because you can spend a lot of money really quick 
on nothing. We're gonna go two sizes smaller here. Don't ask me. I think I might have to make that hole just a little bit bigger. This is too much pressure for a Phillips screwdriver. If you're a manufacturer, please stop building everything with Phillips screwdrivers. They're terrible. Oh my goodness, guys, I can't believe we just pulled that off. We married the old broom to the new broom. And uh, now, like, this is a telescoping handle, right? So technically, we could put any broom head we wanted on here. And it's, it's down to what, two and a half feet-ish. So we're easily able to store this in our closet where we want to store it. But now, it's a really good broom again. Let's try it out, see if it works. The broom itself is actually about four feet once you fully extend it. Thanks for tuning in guys, hope you enjoyed this video. What is your greatest broom failure? or, you know, RV camp purchase failure. Uh, either way, that's one of ours, complete crap. This stuff now, it's going completely straight into the trash. Thanks for tuning in, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we will see you in the next video.